sentiment analysis helps businesses identify customers' positive, neutral, or negative leanings, uh, and helps those businesses use data insights to better understand customers' opinions and to really respond to their needs and ultimately to deliver improved experiences to those customers. Uh, many businesses rely largely on survey-based solutions, and they play an important role in gathering customer sentiment, but ultimately they tend to deliver insight into typically a, a small subset of the entire audience. So this way, you know, you can use sentiment analysis to sort of automate those surveys based on the actual natural conversation rather than, you know, the feelings of what you're feeling afterwards. Oh, yeah, that was a terrible call. I'm going to do a bad survey um, score for somebody or that was a great call. So it just gives you a more natural way to uh, undertake that task. How many times have you written an email or sent a text message to somebody and they've taken offense? And it's because they've misread how you would say that. The difference between speech analytics and sentiment analytics is that it crosses that divide. So I could write down an entire conversation and I could hand that to three different people and they would have exactly the same information, but they would read different things into it. Sentiment analysis is all about looking at the cadence, the pace, the change that happens across the course of a call, the linguistics used, how people respond to that linguistics, the periods of silence, and it allows you to take what was literally said in words and add on to that what the intent was behind those words. 